Hey guys and welcome back. So for today's video I am extremely excited to be filming this for you guys because I have a bunch of new drugstore makeup that I am going to try out today. Before I jump into trying these new products I do just want to mention quickly that the five of the products are from the Wet n Wild Flights of Fancy collection. I did not go out and purchase the entire collection just because I felt like since I bought the other Wet n Wild collection, I didn't use all those products, so I just kind of wanted to pick up some of the things that I thought I would use. I will have all the products listed down below, and I will also have links for where you can get the actual set and where you can purchase the products that I got. I do already have my eyebrows set. I am going to do my eyes first, and then I'm going to jump into my face. I did not use the concealer that I normally use because I actually picked up this new Maybelline Master Conceal Camouflaging Concealer. So I'm going to try this as a primer for my eyeshadow. Also going to use this as my concealer when I do my face makeup. I got the shade 20 light and I'm hoping that it's not too bright for my skin. It does come in a tube so I'm just going to put a little bit on the back of my hand. I'm going to take a little concealer brush and apply this all over my lid area. I'm going to take my beauty blender and blend all of that out. I like using concealer on my eyelids instead of an actual like eyeshadow base just because I feel like the concealer hides the discoloration in the veins that I have in my eyes better than a eyeshadow base. I'm just going to bring it down under here. For the eyeshadow, I picked up these two little palettes. These are actually two of the palettes that are in the Flights of Fancy collection. I believe there was one more, but when I picked up these two, they didn't have the third one. The last few videos that I've done, I've done more of neutral looks. I am not going to use this palette right here. I'm actually going to use this one. This one is called Hasta La Costa Baby, and it just looks like this and the cool thing about these is they have the transition the brow bone the crease and the eyelid so i figured for this video i would just follow exactly what it says on here so for the first color i'm going to jump into this one right here which is the transition shade and i'm just using my normal wet and wild crease brush and i'm going to apply this my crease and all over This is just the normal transition shade. And I do like that they have a transition shade in this palette since it is a more colorful palette. I like a lot of palettes that are coming out now have the bright colors, but they don't really have a transition color like they're harder to use because you have to switch back and forth between palettes unlike this little palette you have all four of your shades in the one palette next I am going to go into this purple color and I'm going to put this all in my crease I'm just bringing this right up Ooh, that doesn't look too pretty. Blend this up and out. I feel like it's a bit patchy. It doesn't really want to blend for me. Going to add a little bit more to the outer corner and blend that inwards. Uh, for the eyelid color, I'm going to go into this color right here. Take my flat shader brush and pop that all over the lid. Holy moly, that's 
This is definitely going to be a bright and colorful makeup look. Which I'm not too mad about because I have been sticking to the neutral nude kind of bronze cup tutorials which is usually what I wear on a day-to-day -day basis. I wouldn't wear this out to the grocery store or to a doctor's appointment or just going somewhere. These colors kind of remind me of the Little Mermaid actually. Just bringing that blue up into the inner corner because I have no idea what I'm doing. The inner highlight and the brow bone, I'm going to go into this color right here and pop that in the corner. Right over that blue. And some up here. I'm going to go back in with a little bit of that purple and blend it upwards just a little bit and I'm going to go back in with the teal and put a little bit more on my eyelid I'm just going to take a makeup wipe and clean up the outer edges oh look at that that is lovely it's definitely a lot of fallout with this palette to jump into the face I got this new Maybelline fit me matte and poreless um, fit me foundation I have tried the other fit me foundations um, I actually used to use the dewy and smooth and this is the normal to dry skin and the normal color that I used to wear was 125 and I just happened to pick up this color in the same color 125 nude beige um, I did notice that my skin has been a little more oily than it has been dry I'm going to take my wet sponge and start dabbing this all over my face from what I can see the coverage seems okay you can definitely tell that the consistency is a little bit different than what I'm used to. So that is the first layer on. I'm going to add a little bit more to the places that I want to cover up a tad bit more. Okay, moving right along I'm going to go back in with the master conceal and I am going to apply it to the back of my hand like I did before <clears throat> I'm going to apply it right underneath my eye this concealer seems a little bit thicker my fit me concealer that I usually use or my unique concealer. Some down my nose, up on my forehead, on my chin, and we're just gonna blend it out. And I like to bring it up on the sides of my nose. Makes my nose look a little bit thinner. I feel like it has dried rather quickly. I don't feel like the coverage is really there. Like it dried down rather quickly. Like it's not it's not really blending out like I want it to. Well, for my powders, I am going in with the same products that I used before. Um, I'm going in with the I Love Makeup contour palette and I'm going in with this shade right here as you can tell I've hit pan but this is the shade that I use 
to set my under eyes. Well, I guess it doesn't look that bad. Hmm. And then I just take the rest of the leftover product and just blend it on the rest of my face. I haven't really been doing contour lately. I've just been using a bronzer. And the bronzer that I am using is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer. And this is in the shade Bikini Contest. And this is the one that I use on a daily basis. And I just put it where I would normally contour. Now for blush, I'm going to go in with the Wet n Wild Color Icon Baked Blush. And this is also from the Flights of Fancy collection. There was another shade, but I just felt like this was more of more up my color alley. And like I said before, I didn't want to get products that I wasn't going to use. And this is what it looks like. And this is in the shade Don't Flutter Yourself. I'm going to take my Real Techniques. This is the buffing brush. And I'm going to just apply this to my cheeks. Ooh, that's really pretty. Really shimmery. For my highlighter, I'm going to go in with this Wet n Wild Color Icon Rainbow Highlighter. And this is in the color Unicorn Glow this up about a month ago and I think I've only used it once but since I'm doing more of a colorful look today I thought I would give this a try Ooh, can you guys see that now to finish up the eyes I'm going to go back into that same palette and I'm going to take the purple shade I'm going to apply this to the outer section of my lower lash line and I'm going to flick it out a little bit. I'm going to go in with that teal color and put this right in the inner part. Next product I got is this Wet n Wild Mega Liner Liquid Eyeliner. This is also from that same collection. I'm not too sure if I'm going to use it though be just because this is more of a bright colorful makeup look and I feel like this is more of like a simple look but that's the color right there seems like it matches this palette a little bit more so maybe I will do these two in another tutorial mascara I'm going to be using this Maybelline great lash lots of lashes mascara my all-time favorite mascara is the lean great lash but this one is the blackest black and this one is the lots of lashes very black and this one also has a different tip to it so since I was starting to run low on that mascara I figured I'd pick up a new one Ooh, that's kind of funky looking hmm. so I'm just going to apply a thin layer to my top lashes bottom lashes so I already went off camera and put on some eyelashes and while I am waiting for those to dry the lip product that I'm going to be using today is this one right here this is another product from the collection um, this is the wet n wild color icon lip gloss and this is in the shade fly gal what the packaging looks like and I absolutely love the packaging on the tip of this. This is a lip gloss and little applicator like this and that is the shade right there. 
Now I don't normally gravitate towards lip glosses, but I wanted to try something different. I'm just going to apply some of this. It's definitely something that I would keep in my purse. I actually really like it. I'm jumping back into that same mascara and I am going to just quickly apply this on my lashes to smooth them all together. That is pretty much it for this tutorial. I can honestly say I really loved all of the products that I got. Um, there were a couple of things with a couple of the products. For example, the concealer was a little iffy for me, but I think if I just do one at a time, I won't have to worry about it drying out. I feel like it will blend a little bit more. And the only other issue that I had was with this little guy right here. Um, I do feel like the purple shade was hard to blend it when I first put it on it was patchy so I am pretty happy with the products that I bought from the Flights of Fancy collection I am happy that I chose to buy them separately instead of the big collection like I did with the other set I just feel like if I was going to spend the money on it I wanted to actually get products that I would use instead of just having them sit around. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and go ahead and leave me a comment down below. If you are new to my channel and would like to subscribe, there will be a link at the end of this video. Of course, there will be the subscribe link down below. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye!